Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of XCOM UFO Defense. Um, yeah, we're about to set down here a battleship UFO. <laughs> this is gonna go so, this is gonna end up so badly, I know, but we're gonna try anyway. I mean, a lot of our troops don't even have the armor. They don't have the armor, they don't have the equipment. Uh, actually, we don't need the Electro Flares, it is a daytime mission. I am going to bring the Stun Rods though, just in case we can find good use for them. It might happen. Now, that base they're trying to build, they're definitely going to succeed there, I think. I don't think we can stop that. I'd be very surprised if we could. Oh, all these poor guys, they're so gonna die. No, just leave one of the... There we go. Off we go. Off to our doom we go. Of course we are gonna save right away because I wouldn't... In case everything goes to hell. Then we have somewhere to return to. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a corner. So there's that little blessing, I suppose. Can we see the UFO? I mean, this is a huge UFO, so we should be able to see the roof of it or something. There it is. And it's going to be crawling with aliens. Armed to the teeth. I mean... How can I even pretend to have cover here? There's no cover. Yeah. Um... You go there. I think go one out. Load up the grenade. Uh, yeah, you can afford that. Prime the grenade and throw it to. That's actually fine. Uh, that would have been fine. That's fine too, actually. You do that. Can you? Walk aside. No, you can't, of course. You'd have to sit right there and block the rod. Um. Now, at least in this mission, there isn't uh, an urgency. We don't have to run amok here. Can take our time, and I definitely think that's what we're gonna do. So we'll move forward slowly, inch our way. I wonder if the smoke grenades actually calls their attention. I don't know. Oh, there's a cyber disk. Uh, I could have done without seeing that one. Um, dang it. Okay, so there's a cyber disk on the far side here. That is kind of bad. Can you see it? You can't see it. 
Uh, I want to do a snapshot there. I don't think I want to risk running straight into that one. And at least the cyberdisc can't throw grenades. At us. You are kind of badly suited for, for a grenade toss. Not really in the right position, but I think we're gonna have to do that anyway. Um, private. Can I like throw it right under the under the ship? Can. Awesome. That's good. Um, okay, let's ignore all your orders. Can't even go there. Okay, fine. <laughs> Watch me be a fool. We are gonna find that alien with the grenade. You know we are. Just that's just how I roll. What do you mean there was some hostile aliens right there? Of course there was. Uh, you kneel down there just in case that cyber disk decides to uh, cross the hill there. You sit tight, you move out. I have to admit, I do miss all the uh, Call to Your Life stuffs that the later XCOM titles have added. Still, it is sort of fun to be back in Body Bag Central. Sort of. Please kill him. Didn't kill him. Okay, he ran away. That was the alien with the grenade, you know what it was. But I don't think he could see us because of the smoke. At least that's my hope. Don't hit me! He could see us. Oh my! That also killed the other guy. Two for one shot. Good man. So, do we dare approach? That are the only two aliens we've seen, they could maybe... Could be more hiding out there. Huh. Scary. Let's see now, where is the... Entrance on this kind of UFO. The bad thing though, we know it is a sectoid one, so there are gonna be mind controls and all that fun stuff. Unfortunately. <sighs> We're probably gonna lose tons of soldiers to that. If we stay too long in the smoke, we're gonna be I suppose so that there's that too. Mm, you're gonna cross the hills here. Do a sweep. Try to at least. Whereas you're gonna sweep south. Probably should start think thinking about bringing high explosives and see if I can uh, create alternate entrances, so to speak, into the UFOs. 
Because lo and behold, they try to, they try to actually defend. They actually defend the uh, regular entrances. Go figure. You guys don't have uh, armor. You should probably stay put. Uh, at least... Oh, yeah, that's fine. You can move on ahead. And there's you. My crack shots. Mm, I don't really want to move ahead now and find more aliens. Or rather not move too far ahead. You're going to kneel right there. And do a reaction shot. It's going to be fine. If I stay too long in smoke, we're gonna lose soldiers to incapacitation, though. So we don't want that either. So it's finding that golden mini, mini, golden mean there. Find the golden mini. Let's see. This should be a battleship. It should have an entrance in the middle, if I recall correctly. And only in the middle. Ah, I'm gonna do them. Do this the old-fashioned way, Leroy. Nothing ever goes wrong when you just storm. <laughs> Straight at the enemy. Ever. I am going to split you up a little bit just so we can at least diminish the number of casualties I'll get when we inevitably face the grenade grenadier alien. It's going to be one. I just know it's going to be one. You, sir, you are. You just killed two aliens. I'm kind of reluctant to use you for anything. Um, but I kind of have to. There's a lot of smoke here, so hopefully that'll protect us. Um, go this way. Don't want to bunch you up too much, just in case. It looks like we're going to be okay on this front. And you're gonna cross the hills there. Just in case there are someone hiding in the dunes. I guess it's time to move you guys out of the craft. I can't wait for the day when you have powered armor. <laughs> we might actually survive a few hits. I mean, personal armor is fine, it's a good start, but uh, against plasmas, that's still not enough. Flying powered armor, that's what we want, what we need to stay alive. Please, yay! He died. And he also missed us. Thank goodness for that. I do wonder. Maybe I could just camp the entrance there. Oh dear, you found someone. Okay. Oh, a little pesky guy hiding behind there. Uh, Neil. I could try to get the other guys to give me smoke cover. 
Um, that looks like a plasma pistol that he's carrying. I'm gonna chance this. Oh, good lord. Lucky. Lucky us. Yeah, you just stay right put there. Put right there. What's oh, four dead aliens? He was hiding behind the crafts. Clever bugger. Uh, there's little smoke left. So if there are anyone here, will be plenty visible. Mm, your shot will take 20. In that case, Neil. Try to make yourself less of a target. Uh, let's see, this is... That's snapshot, so kneel and snapshot. Go this way. I'm always afraid of that one grenadier. Follow here. That's probably too far. Okay, fine, you just stand right there. Oh, my blessings. We still haven't been mind controlled attacked. I would have expected that to happen. And often. Not that I want to be <laughs> subject to those attacks. But still. Well, the aliens are definitely moving around inside. be more than one side. Oh, there we go. And there's the mind control attack, of course. Let me guess. Okay, she didn't actually die or anything like that. Mm, that was you, Miss Crossett. You were subject to mind control and didn't actually... It didn't take. And we did see that was someone inside there. Unfortunately, the doors don't stay open when they go around opening them. That's unfair. That is so unfair. You kneel right there. And wait. Carefully, otherwise I'll set myself up for a grenade strike. I'm gonna do it anyway, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> you need how many time units for a snapshot? You're gonna do an auto shot instead. It's 17, so you can spend a few more units moving into position. Like so, and Neil. You are going to hightail it around here. There could
could be an alien hiding on the far end of the dune. I'm consider that unlikely, but you never know. So let's have a careful sweep here. Suicide rounds. You just crossed the line here. Closer at the very least. Don't think you can grenade us there. Um, try to go a far route around the craft, would you please? Should keep you out of firing range. From the entrance of this UFO. Let's see if that works. So you know there's a guy right in the entrance there. There he is. And you guys suck at firing. Seriously? It took like one shot. You guys were all lined up to shoot at him and only one of you took a shot. Ah. Well, that's sad. And dang it, now I can't. You can't even kneel. Can you go there? No, you can't. Can you go there? Probably don't spend all your movement points just getting there. You need to turn around. You need 14 units for a snapshot, so kneel there. You are going to do an aimed shot from right there. And then we have the body bag, fellas. You're on the dune patrol. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's fine then. We're going to move towards the UFO from this side. Which is what you're already doing. kneel there, but uh, there. And you need to be a bit out of range in case of grenades. Just want to see there. So are you telling me he's only the guy that's going to be fired at is going to fire back? Well, that kind of sucks. That's probably the alien opening the door. And then firing right in my face. And of course a mind control. <sighs> Someone panicked, was that you? 
Yeah, okay. Brave and marksman panicking. Oh well. But at least you kill that freakish alien. Ah. Right. Oh, good lord. Okay, there are actually two of them. Um. Run away. Preferably without getting shot. Panicked, so you can't do a damn thing. I forgot that this has exits on two sides. Ah, pesky alien. Pesky alien tricked me. At least he died for it. Unfortunately, if I don't attack, we're gonna be mind controlled to death, so. really afford not to do anything. Even though moving into the craft in this fashion is... well... ill-advised, I suppose, is the word for it. If they have a blast launcher, we're so toast. Then again, that's kind of the fun of the XCOM, isn't it? Yes, I do admit that I tend to like safe scumming for simply for this reason. I mean, just a little touch of being able to open the door before you enter. Just that little quality of life improvement is so insanely valuable. Stop mind controlling my people! No! That's even worse! Stop shooting! You'll hit someone! Huh. Well, at least nobody died. And of course, we're just gonna. Yeah, you, sir. Um. Charge! Chronomo! Okay, you can definitely see one alien. Somewhere up there. Um, fire away. And you actually killed him. Props for you, my friend. Uh, no, you're not going to reserve units for snapshots, because that's going to kill you. So, how to go. Let's see, that is over here. So, we know you are weak-willed. Weak Unfortunately. I have to chance you, don't I? Don't want to. But I kind of have to. Um, using the lift. Two of you there, both facing me. We're not gonna sit around and behold that, I think. You didn't shoot at me, but I don't think I... I wouldn't have had time to throw a grenade. This is kind of risky. Because if she panics again next turn, she's gonna kill the entire squad. Even worse if she's mind controlled. No, 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 darn it. Not at all what I wanted. Yo, oh my. Will they have time units to escape? Whew. I want you to stay outside the craft, not do anything like that. Um, you just run away. Try to stay out of the panicky folks' line of fire, 
you can. Oh, they're so gonna mind control one of these guys and throw a grenade. If you're wondering, that's why I usually don't like grenades. <laughs> I find them to be uh, counterproductive. Okay, time to go lemmings. I suppose next turn we can go lemmings. Send everybody in to die. See what happens. They're gonna sap us, of course. And again. And yeah, that's exactly what I feared. Here comes the grenade! Almost dead, you're almost dead. Well then. Huh. He has to he has to go. He wasn't cut out for this. Nearly dead. Don't think I have anyone with a medkit anywhere. You have time for a snapshot too. There we go. That's one threat pacified. Okay, let me see. You have a medkit. You are now a field medic. Because this guy was almost dead, I think. You... Can I actually see if you have any in injuries? No. Um, no. Yes, you are injured. So let's move over there. No fatal wounds. You have two of them. I cured you, right, so... No, almost no health left. Um, yeah. You're a marksman, I'd rather not lose you. In where's we go? Can you see anyone? Yeah, we knew there was someone going to be there to fire, and she's alive. She got hit, but she didn't die. Um, Neil. Oh, that that triggers a reaction fire. Uh, I'll have to kill this alien. Um, an auto shot plus the other one. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're just number of shots. I'm going to gamble on that instead of. Accuracy. And that paid off. Um, go down. Just stay right there. You. Actually kneel. Go up. Look around. Nobody else right here. 
Uh, do I dare one more? Uh, stay right there, please. You're just gonna stay. You're gonna stay, obviously. There we go. We know there's one more alien here somewhere, so let's try that. You're gonna kneel right there, Miss Crossett. You were badly injured and you're nearly dead. Never a good combo. Just stay right there. You, on the other hand, can be sacrificed. Though probably not this turn. So kneel right there for now. Note to self, stop bringing grenades. <laughs> I think. I'm not, I don't use them anyway. And as I clearly already demonstrated, they are... They are lethal to us. Since we have weak old soldiers. Oh no. Yeah, oh my. Such a poor soldier. Um I probably wanna start with you. Have a look around. Well, we know almost uh, they're almost certainly someone there. Uh, da, da, da. So we're gonna use the bait guy. Off you go. Yep, there he is. Um, zap, zap, zap. Hit him and you're promoted. Miss and you're dead. Um, you're dead. You get one more chance. Uh, is that gonna hit? No. I still didn't throw any reaction reaction fire at us, which kind of surprises me. You go down. <laughs> so you're gonna go up instead. I think you're kneeling. One of them has to hit. One of them hit now. Did that will that trigger a reaction? Still no reaction. Come on, die. Die already pesky alien. Dang it. And that's not enough time units for anything else. Ah, uh, fine descent. And you were panicked, so you can't do jack shit. Uh, da, da, da. You could do it something. Go there, there, kneel, then up. Oh, hit him now. Dang it. Um. This is becoming annoying, and now all of you are blocking the entrance. And you can't get up in time. Nor can you, nor can you. Darn it, I'm actually blocking the entrance. Um, so you pretty much have to kill him. If you don't, we're sort of screwed. 
Thank goodness, and now I can try to go hide. Go hide there. You can't do anything, you are panicked, you can't do anything, you're blocking the road. Blocking the road, you're just gonna sit right there. Well, fine, you just go and prepare for the run amok attack next time. That's more healing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna scrap out taking grenades. I don't use them and they're lethal to me when I'm mind controlled. I don't like the grenades in this game because, well, they take a lot of time to fire. Yeah, about you, um... Storming in into a UFO, that's kind of risky. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for reinforcements. Hopefully you won't get any more mind controls. Oh no. Definitely knows. Shoot that direction. Don't shoot at us. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's an okay reaction. Uh, quick look around. Now there are someone defending these uh, lower levels, but I think we're gonna have to prepare. An assault up here. We have to get the mind controlling aliens out of the way. That means a little bit of prep time. Could kneel, but I don't think that's going to matter much. You are so. Uh, right, you, le you left your gun too. Forgot about that. I don't know if I wanted, want you to be armed. Since you are so poor at actually doing anything. I'm just gonna keep you there. For the time being. You were under attack. Huh. Okay, body bag centrals. Let's go. You can stay on this floor. There are probably more engineers somewhere hiding there. And you are gonna go all the way to the top. No, actually you're not. You're also one of the weaker troops. Um, we're going topside. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I've completely lost track of time. Sorry about that. This UFO assault is taking t it's taking some quite a while. So yeah, we'll take a short break here, and we'll resume later. Sorry about the long episode. Thank you for watching.